Well, it all comes down to this. After back-to-back -back losses to Kansas State, this afternoon the Kansas baseball team still had the ability to control their own destiny. A win today in Manhattan, and they were moving on to the Big 12 tournament. A loss? Well, and they were left scoreboard watching, hoping for an Oklahoma loss. Let's head to the Little Apple, where the Hawks fell last night 5-4 to four at the hand of an eighth-inning Kansas State rally. Let's pick it up top one. No score. Two on for John Allman. He goes deep with a three-run shot over the wall. And just like that, Kansas led 3-0. But bottom two, K-State would respond. Dane Yelovich would come home on the Buck Afner air. That was a rough day for Buck on behind catch, uh, catching. It was 4-3 Kansas State. Top three, though, Eric Morris is for KU. Gets KU right back in it with the solo home run over the right field wall, and we're tied at four. Bottom five, though, more cats. Derek Bunker singles to left. That one would find the hole. Two runs come in to score, and K-State led eight to four after five. But here comes Kansas. Casey Larson, again, deep to right, a two-run blast over the wall. And KU trails just by one, nine to eight. But let's go to the top of the ninth. KU down one, two outs. Justin Elrich. Chicks dig the long ball, and they dig that one off the scoreboard. And we're tied. At, oh, KU takes a 10 to nine lead. But bottom nine, K-State had one more chance. Rob Vaughn doubles down the left field line. One run is in, and we're all tied at 10. It wouldn't get any better. Two batters later, Sam Freeman hits Derek Bunker. Run comes in to score, and the game ends on that. 11 to 10 is your final. Kansas Falls and gets swept at Kansas State. Afterwards, the Jayhawks were left to look back on this afternoon's loss. Uh, well, you know, I mean, losing's never fun. It's never easy for anybody, especially in a rival game like this. Um, you know, you can't fault our effort today. Um, they ended up having the better day, and they ended up taking it home, which just hurts a little bit more that it was a sweep and that it was such a big game for us. So with the Jayhawks falling today, that means they were left to sit and wait and hope for an Oklahoma loss. And the Jayhawks would then capture the eighth spot in the tournament. But the Sooners were able to jump on the tournament opportunity with a 10-4 win over the Cowboys. That means KU's season comes to an end at 30-27 and 27 on the year.